Now, from our High Definition Studios, this is Local Edition. Hello, and thanks for watching this Local Edition. I'm Eric Watilla. Our area is now home to one of the largest wind turbines in North America, thanks to a massive project led by a Traverse City company. Benjamin Ari has more details on the project. Benjamin? Eric, several weeks ago, we reported on the installation at the Stony Corners wind farm near McBain. As the turbines themselves go up, we're following up on that story with additional details and future plans. Where we are now is the Stony Corners wind farm project. And we began this about three, between three and four years ago to work with the landowners to acquire enough acreage to put together a significant wind farm project. After years of planning and preparation, the turbines themselves are finally going up. We've built a substation uh, which will accommodate up to eight of these machines uh, at the current time under a phase one uh, configuration. And we have two going up um, as we speak. The first one is back over my shoulder here and the second one due to go up by the end of this week. And we hope to have uh, the machines actually feeding power into the grid um, by uh, probably the middle of next week, number one will be operational and the second one will um, follow that, you know, a week after or so. Community support is one of the major reasons the project can expand in the area. We have identified this site, like I said, about three, four years ago. Um, it is part of the highest uh, area of, nor of lower Michigan, of the lower peninsula of Michigan. We've got a 69 kilovolt high voltage transmission line that goes right through the middle of the project. And lastly, and, and most importantly, we've got tremendous community support from the local farmers. We've assembled uh, in the vicinity of uh, 10,000 acres of relatively contiguous uh, farmland together with one another, um, which gives us the ability to, to develop the project in an appropriate manner. And planning for that expansion is already underway. The next phase, we're in negotiations for the balance of the 20 megawatts we have available to put into our current substation configuration. So it's, it, it's all in all favorable and we look forward to doing more. Now for more information on this wind project, head to heritagewindenergy.com and click on projects. For Local Edition, I'm Benjamin Ari. Now back to you, Eric. Well, thanks, Benjamin. Coming up next on Local Edition, an upcoming marketing seminar hopes to help small businesses. We'll tell you more next. Stay with us.